drive from Kushafe Local Government Council Secretariat to Ifako, a suburb of the local government, took us about 20 minutes. Cholui is a peaceful urban community in Lagos State. It is famous for housing both Bagada General or Spitu and the Deeper Life International Bible Church. Modern infrastructures also makes the community a toast to many the works on the island and a papa area of the state because of its strategic location. Honestly speaking, I never emphasize this phenomenal development. But this phenomenal development can be attributed to the Tormin Land Bridge. That actually made this place to the development of this place to, to, to be fast tracked. Arguably. Sholui CDA is one of the community that witnessed early civilization under the then Shomolu local government. But there are more to this community than meets the highs. The establishment of community development station not only helped, it is, it is even the, the facilitator of all the developments. And I will tell you why. The early settlers, when they came, this was a, a village. Now they were having two challenges, armed robbery challenge and a lack of electricity. All oh, those years the armed robbers were everywhere. You know, armed robbers were terrorizing people because it was a jungle. But we thank God that God made, made us to survive. Prior to now, Sholui Community Development Association was battling with a problem. A problem of motorable roads link bridge to connect it with other areas within the local government and have deep drainage system to help the CDA channel torrents when the rain is heavy. My first encounter this was in uh, late 1982 when I bought my piece of land here. It was uh, a rural village trying to emancipate at that time. You know, we, uh, the, the development was very, very limited to few early settlers that time. There were no businesses, one. There was only one major road, which was then under construction by the early settlers. But, you know, you know, who were just, you know, trying to have a place to live. Because the place was like a, 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 a village, a rural setting that time. You know, when you are telling me, you see or not, you see or I want CD, I want Baba, control to you are. No more try no bad to be by she to to fit that by. No matter the be by, cause no only bad 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 bad. Cut it so no da da da. Bo bo a water him by. Cause then to she. I want to that wo. I want to want to want more materials wo. Ata be she bo bo. Ata try. We 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 be ko leda. Can I eat gong gong? I want to jump on si bang bang. Ti si no can I bang bang. So I I decide to play. I shall face she. As much as they try to face these challenges in the best way they can, it was harder than they imagined, thereby making the community unhabitable for early settlers. The first is that this is the only road our children pass to school. Now, there was a covert here, which we learned was done by Lagos State Government with uh, collaboration with uh, Deeper Life. But the covert collapsed over three years ago. What prompted this action now? A pregnant woman holding two children, was passing on the plank and fell into the canal. So God saved the whole community. It's a big calamity for the community. This place was uh, unpassable. You can see, uh, they, they, because the canal was not flowing well, you cannot pass. There was no way. You can see the, the uh, plank there that people were using. Some, of, some elderly people would fall into that place. So the place was uh, a miserable sight. But in 1980, there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Residents decided to have the first roundtable meeting to chart a new course for communal growth. Luckily, some of them were young professionals who just bought land. And so they now gather themselves to form a, a group. They were meeting regularly to say, what can we do? So through that uh, uh, meeting, 
the first of all is to bring electricity. So now the thing now uh, metaphors into a community forum. It was that community forum now that now started other developments like this major road called Ayodele Okewo, which is the only major road in the whole community, was widened, graded, and made by the community. So gradually like that, we are building, building, building until we now have a standard road. The, the forum, it was not that a, a CDA then, it was called a community forum. The community was formed in 1985 and it was registered by Shomolu local government at that time because this place was under Shomolu local government. So that is the, 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 the genesis or the part of community development station, Sholi. We came here in 1981, we were the first settler of this area. This place was a big jungle, but we came here in 1980. Well, you can imagine the difference now, um, now getting to 77. So I was still very young, active that time, though I'm active now. We were just community, we were brothers, but we were very, very co cooperative and love each other. And our women were very, very active. They formed a club, call it Ladies Club. Very, very, they were quite supportive. Yes, and we were doing things in one accord. Construction and clearing of canals, community electrification projects like street lights, and replacing wooden poles to concrete ones. Facilitation of the construction of Ayodele Okewo Street by Chevron Nigeria as their contribution to corporate social responsibility in the area were some of the projects initiated by the leadership of Solui CDA. The first thing we did through uh, Chevron on the corporate social responsibility, they were the ones that tied the road, Ayodele Okewo, straight from the deeper life there to, down to Chevron in deeper Solui. That was the first major achievement we had that time. Uh, we have done so many things. About all of our own, we did it. This road that we are standing, it is uh, a development uh, effort on our own. And uh, we have been, uh, we do a lot of drainages. Uh, drainage uh, project where that, is, uh, where that is still ongoing through our uh, communal efforts. There is a street, we call it Bala, Bala Street. Eh? We have tied, uh, we did it, we have tied it. Then there is street light on Ayodele Okeowo and Esaport Avenue. It was by communal efforts. The road was already there. So the only efforts to tie the road and of course they put the drainage. In fact, this effort was very, very good in the part of Chevron. So that's what the Chevron did. Then lately, uh, early last year, they assisted us in putting the main gate where you have the Jipa Life Church, you will see welcome to Sholi. That main gate was in collaboration between the community and Chevron. This is one of the ongoing projects of Sholui CDA, the construction of a more than culvert that will be useful for both commuters and school children. The reason behind this project, amongst other things, is to create access routes for pedestrians and other car owners. So confusion, I think uh, the students that are going to school will be able to have uh, a free access to uh, roads to pass and the other community that uh, uh, road users will be able to have uh, easy access to the road. I have a chairman who wants to go to the road. I have a five chairman. I do. I have a chairman who wants to go to the road. street. I want to cut it on the I want to cut it left and right. I don't know what nurse. Tiba eba wa okay. A roof traffic to wa be be na mama agba. More importantly, you see, Ayodele Okewo Street is the only road that links everybody in the community. In the mornings, you spend minimum of 30 minutes, 45 minutes before you can get out of the community. But if this road is motorable, people going to Ifako, to Lagos Island, you don't need to pass through. Uh -huh. They'll just pass here, go and link the road that is being constructed and get to the express road to go to Lagos. Then people going to Ifakwara or me will not pass through that place, they will pass here. So it will congest Ayodele Okowo. So like uh, there was uh, an incident on Ayodele Okowo, a tanker broke down. The whole community was locked down for four hours that day on no alternative road. So that's why we are very particular about this project. Uh -huh. 
Lagos Community Updates gathered that over 5 million naira has been spent so far on this project. But the community needs more funds to make this project see the light of the day. The call on well meaning Nigerians to come to the raid so as to complement the giant strides of Governor Babajide Sowolu on rural and urban renewal. This is the way uh, Federal Majole was that time. Swampy, you see the weeds. Eh? So, this was the situation then. You can see. Now, because of the short course it is for our children, and you could see that even the children go, coming and going since we, you could see them uh, on, that, on that plank. This is what it was. The pregnant woman fell on this plank that time. So that's why we have to widen it. You see that it's widening now. We have to widen it now. Uh -huh. So this was how the thing was. Then when we started now, we now first of all did this drainage. The, the form work, when the drainage was being constructed, this is the form work. Now, when the drainage was completed, you can see now, you can see in it now, huh, with the water flowing in, in, in the drainage now. So the only important thing now remaining is construction of the, of the culvert, which is the uh, mini bridge, which we are doing. And for this bridge alone, for this construction work we have embarked on, we have spent about 5.2 million naira. 5.2 million naira. And I will give you the breakdown. 760 for this drainage, 550 for the other drainage over there. Eh? Then for the piling work, it's 3.2 million. You see the piling and the cap works. And then, uh, uh, see on ground, uh, hardcore, granite, and the sharp sand. Uh, that's about 600,000 worth of materials which we have, we have on ground now. And we are still looking for 7 million to complete this project. My appeal now is to the Koshofe local government, to my honorable chairman, honorable Ken in the show for La, that issue in this uh, in mercy and magnanimity help us to complete this project before rain starts. <laughs>